What's good YouTube? Hope everyone is doing well again during this whole quarantine thing and social distancing thing. I had to run a few errands, that's why I'm out of the house. Had to go to the warehouse and pick up and do a few things. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing fine. I'm super duper healthy and just getting by. I'm sure you guys can relate. Um, but I thought I'd bring my camera today um, and record this video. As the title says, um, yeah, CRV update video and just what's been going on with the car and my plans for the car and what I've done to the car. Um, it's been a while since the CRV video and I thought I'd I kind of owe this to you guys because I feel like a lot of my new subscribers are CRV owners, especially since I put out like CRV content a few months ago, like about four videos of just like CRV stuff that kind of popped off. Um, and yeah, I just want to show you guys what I've done to the car. Um, just little knickknacks here and there that I've added, uh, my new setup, and just my uh, future plans for this car. It's not a lot, but I thought I'd share. So let's get right into it. So yeah, the sun is barely holding on, but I think it'll do. But this is the car so far. We got the license plate, different wheels, Nerf bar. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about this new setup that I have. So these are 17 inch rims with i forgot oh right here 215 um 215 by 45 tires no no 215 by 50 uh tires and again 17 inch rims they're just reps they kind of look like uh wrx um rims but uh, my new setup is i have I took out the adjustable camber arms on the rears and I'm rocking OEM camber arms on the back. Um, but the fronts, I still have true hearts. I think I'm running like negative one camber up front. And I think, well, this is not adjustable. Uh, my camera's not adjustable on the rears anymore. So this is just natural camber. I believe it's like negative. The rears definitely have a little bit more camber than the fronts. As you can see, the fronts are like, I made them as um as what's it called as as close as they are to the fender right here um because again it's a front wheel drive car and i want to be this is my daily driver and i want to be running as little camber um as possible on the fronts um and i have like a, like a one inch like oh uh, like one and a half inch space on the front and I believe the rears I like it's like nearly tucking there's like like one finger um, space from the back from the plastic thing um, and I have nerf bars if you're wondering where I got these I got them brand new from this guy on offer up uh, oh I have these mud flaps installed as well got these from the junkyard and that's pretty much it oh this is like super, super small, minor thing, but I thought it, it was pretty cool. Um, if you guys remember uh, from my uh, install video, the head unit install video, I had, I installed my like speaker mic thing right here, but I rerouted it to there. So it's not janky and like sticking out here anymore. But yeah, head unit still working. I fixed my clock also, by the way, that's an easy fix. Um, I could like share and show you guys next time, maybe if you're inter interested in a video, but there's like other people that have done it before. Uh, my car is super dirty, but other than that, haven't done anything else to the interior. Still have this Broadway mirror. Um, and yeah, I need to redo my trim on the back, on the rears. I mean, on the sides yeah nothing oh I have a um, OEM wing that I need to sand down and paint and I need to get my paint code um, for this car I believe it's like a Tefeta white or something like that I need that for the wing before I install it um, and yeah that's pretty much the car nothing really new but it is definitely a 
a um, a more daily setup than the setup I had with the 18 inch um, whites again I needed this car as a daily back as a daily and it's been super super duper reliable um, these past few months for school I like drive like 50 miles a day um, or every other day for school so it's been super duper reliable um, and my plans for this car uh, two, I have, um, I only have like around two options for this car. Um, it's either I go switch the rims um, to, I have two rims I have in mind, um, the Acura TL Type S rims, the waffle rims, or the Acura um, RSX Type S rims. Those are super duper clean. Um, I'll have pictures of like what those two rims look like and like what like CRVs look like with those rims, but it's either that or my second option, this is a lot more work, but I can sell a few parts and like hopefully gain, get some money from it, um, but it's switch out my suspension to stock ones and run a 1.5 inch lift on the rears. So it's like a stock height, but it gets rid of that rear sag and then run some like I don't know, some rep wheels, like rotor grids with like all train tires or something like that. Get a really like off-road look and then install the wing on the back. Um, I'll have a picture of like what that looks like as well here. But yeah, those are, that's like pretty much the update for this car. Not really much. Um, I really want to showcase my new build real soon. But because of this whole quarantine thing, it has had to wait um, I was gonna register it and smog it like last month but we have this whole quarantine thing that it's like there's no point of doing it anymore because I can't even drive I can't even get out of the house so um, it has to be put aside but I have been working on it so I might um, make a video about it showcase it real soon but yeah just a quick video on the V <laughs> quick update showcasing you guys what it looks like now um, yeah uh, so upcoming videos for this car would pro probably be a wing install, um, maybe painting bumper install, um, and then maybe a subwoofer install as well. Uh, comment down below which one you would you would want to see first, um, because definitely I don't have like really an order of what I, of what like we have so much time now because of this quarantine thing. But I definitely want to upgrade the um, stereo on this thing, add a subwoofer, would be awesome. Um, and I think it's like the less messiest thing to do as well, like the wing will require painting and stuff and I don't know, it's up to you guys. So comment down below what, we, what you guys would like to see. Um, yeah, but um, other than that, this car is like pretty much staying the same, it's just my daily driver. Um, just a reliable, uh, reliable daily driver that I highly recommend anyone if you're looking for a car, go find yourself a first gen CRV. <laughs> but that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Again, super, super duper quick, short video, rather chatty, but just wanna share the updates of the CRV again. I hope everyone stays indoors, stays, stays safe and healthy, and Use your time wisely. It's a lot of free time that we have right now. And go learn a new skill or whatever. Um, but um, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.